Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome. I thought I'd do a market update here. It's 1 o'clock, 1 o'clock on Monday, June 16th. To start off the week, what is the market doing? Holding, holding very strong, despite the fact that it came down, didn't go over the high, came down, and looked like it was going to break the low. I saw that happen after I closed out the trading room this morning, and I, I, I saw when I was doing this red bar, and I said, don't think it's going to break the low. It's not going to break the low. It's not going to break the low. Market's going to hold. Even if it comes down, it's going to fake like it's lower, but it's still going to hold. And it's holding. Market triggered a buy setup today. I didn't think the market would even ha do that today. I thought the market would hold bullish slash neutral today. Call for today for me when the market was bullish slash neutral, meaning sideways. And however, we actually triggered the buy setup very early today, happened by 10, 10, 15 ish. And then I said, well, I guess it's a possibility we can go over the high today, but I really didn't think that we would go over the high today. But we did trigger the buy setup. And I think we closed green today, and we are going to close green today. And it's one o'clock, and there's three hours left in the day. Market isn't going to go over the high. Uh, but it's not going to break the low. It's it's markets along, and people still keep trying to short this market. I think I'm going to write a song. It's going to be called "Don't Short This Market." Don't short the market. Don't short the market. Don't short this market. No matter what you do, that's going to be the song. Don't short this. It's really actually hard to believe that people are still shorting this market. Eventually, they're going to give up on it. Target for the SPY is 200. It's going to get there. I don't know when, but it's going to. The sooner it does, the cleaner it'll be here. And if we don't, okay, get over the high and make a new high and get up to that number the next two weeks, really this week, basically, uh, before the holiday, before the July 4th holiday, then it's going to be a choppy month. It's going to be choppy, 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 choppy for probably about a month's time. And then the market will finally do it. So what I'm looking at here for this market <clears throat> Is a possible pulling all the way into here, but low odds. I don't think that happens. So, because this is so close and not that far away, I don't think the market is going to take as long as it needs to to get up over the high. I think the most likely thing we do is continue up, and we may base and base and base and then do it. We could come in a little bit here more if we want to before we do it, but I have a hundred percent conviction we're not breaking this. So, uh, I, I don't know why people think that we're going to come in because we're not. Because even if we come in, this isn't that far away. It's only three dollars. And this will take us into July if we do come into here even and retest it. But low odds that happens. Better that we come into here, follow through higher, or just follow through higher, or slosh around in here until we follow through higher. So what's happening here, many, many stocks, okay, bullish stocks, bearish stocks, things aren't seeing the continuation follow through that they would normally because there's an uneasiness going in here where people are not making decisions in reference to the market positioning of their trades. People are... Not wanting to go long, even though that's really the right direction to be playing uh, core trades right now, unless you're in something that's very weak. People aren't wanting to take new positions or go long, and they're not sure if they should hold the longs they have because people think the market's extended, but it's not. It's not, and people will know that once the SPY gets to some crazy number, like over 200. And then eventually everyone will stop shorting this market. But until then, I'll keep singing the song, Don't Short the Market, because people are going to keep trying to short it. And in reference to bearish stocks, to get the follow through, all we need is the market to make a decision either one way or the other. And the decision really is to go right now and break over the high sooner rather than later or slosh around and then get over the high in the month. But the market isn't going to come in. I'm not even looking at that as a possible option because it's just not going to happen. So here we are again here. Now we're continuing, continuing up. <laughs> Look at this, 1 o'clock. So, and people shorted this, but we had already gone over the high of the day when people shorted this. Knew we weren't going to break this low. 193.68, 193.68. Could have actually bought the market here in the retest of the low today because it was like so perfect. So perfect. Anyways, very strong market. Nice, nice pulling in here that's happened. So, you know, we'll have to see how this week shapes up. It's going to have to do how we really got tomorrow and then follow through whatever we do or where we got tomorrow, whether it's up or down or neutral. I, I, we're probably going to have a neutral gap in the market tomorrow morning. I have to look and see what he comes out, but we're going to close green today. I think we close in the buy setup today. And I don't think it's going to be a monster green bar. I think it's going to be medium. Uh, but either way, we're not going to break the low of the day today in the SPY here. It's just not going to happen. Market's very nice and strong. Any retest of the high that does not break over it, 
will be very sloppy for this market. People will make an attempt to short it then again. In other words, if we follow through here this week and we go up to 196 and don't get over it and don't trade over it bullishly and retest it, market will be sloppy for another month, you know, till like the second, third week in July. So the best, cleanest option for the market would be to follow through in the current trend. But what's happening with people now is the indecision, not sure what to do, feeling like it's too late to buy, but it's not. It's not, okay? And people not knowing whether or not to dump uh, stuff that's weak because or short it because they don't know what's going to happen with this market because they may think it may come in and they're not sure what to do. But the fact is that the market really isn't going to have any significant pull in. And even the maximum level of support pull in that this market could do, it's, it's just I don't see it happening. Okay? So nice, nice, beautiful bullish market here today. Spy should close looking very similar to the way that it looks right now. Maybe a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit smaller, the green bar, but still closing bullishly today. Uh, and tomorrow, I have to look at the econ app, but I bet we're going to have a neutral gap tomorrow. Probably neutral or teeny weeny down. Neutral or teeny weeny down or teeny weeny up. I don't think we gap any significant way tomorrow. But look for follow through. Look for the market to cleanly get over the high. And if it doesn't retest it, it's going to be sloppy. If we don't break over the high in the next week, it's going to be sloppy till July. So we'll see what this market wants to do. Do what it wants to do naturally or wait and wait and wait. Because if we don't do it, it's just a waiting period until we do. The next Golden Gap class is this weekend, the last class, the last class to do before the price of the Golden Gap class increases. The price of the class is increasing to $29.99 as of July 1st. And if you would like to do this class, if you've been following me or watching me or if you're new and want to learn the system, the price of the class this weekend is $24.99. There will be no exceptions made once the price goes up. You can pre-register for a class in the future or do the class this weekend on June 21st and 22nd. The Trends class is next week, June 24th and 25th, if you'd like to do that one as well. And I'm running the combo special for June for a half off that class with Golden Gap class uh, participants. If you want to do both classes and you get half off the Trends class, if you want to do the Trends class, it's $9.99. If you want to do the Gap class, it's $24.99. If you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. I have a webinar coming up this evening at 4.30 Eastern Time. Should be interesting. I will see everyone there. Have a wonderful day. And don't short the market. That's the name of the tune. Name that tune. <laughs> Have a good day, everybody.